Hey Silver Lake family, Pastor James here. I just wanted to chat with you a little bit about what's going on at Silver Lake during the, um, these restrictions and stuff that, that's kind of going on and how we can be best be a blessing in, in this, not just to you, but to our community and to to the whole area around us. The other day I was coming home from a, from a um, leaders meeting and um, I was kind of remembering and some of the stuff that's going on just kind of hit me and and I realized that, you know, this is pretty important and, and we need to, to respond to this um, in faith. Not react out of fear, but respond to it in faith and make some decisions. And, and one of the things I noticed was, like, um, I remember when 9-11 hit. And when 9-11 hit, everybody was kind of kind of coming together and, and finding each other. And we were being real patriotic. And, and we had an enemy that we thought we could see. Now we're kind of facing another enemy, but this enemy we can't see, and this enemy's a little bit different. Whereas on 9/11, it was kind of bringing us together, but this enemy is an enemy that that for us to beat it, we may have to do a, a little bit of social distancing. And the reason we're doing the social distancing isn't because we want to bow down to to circumstances or what's going on, but because we want to love people and we want to show our love. Um, one of the commandments is actually in the Shema, in, in um, the every Jewish person has it on the side of their house, or, or, or in Hebrew, it, it says, Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is God. He is one. Love Him. And then it says this, Love Him with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. And I think for us in these times, we're making a decision to where we're going to go online with our um, services. We'll have them posted. We're going to film them early, and then we're going to post them uh, at um, 11 o'clock. You can find them on our website, which which will be up. You can see see that on the on the screen or um, on our Facebook page. But we'd love to see you and um, have you continue to come. But part of that reason is because we want to love our neighbors and what the authorities are telling us and the and what has been asked of us is that um, if we can give them like two weeks, I think that they can they can kind of get a grip on this thing. And so it's loving our neighbors and loving each other by, by saying, you know what, Let, let's do a little distancing and let's see what it is, but we don't have to be distant spiritually. We can trust God and we can come together and we can meet, we're just not doing it physically. As far as our um, Sunday school and our Wednesday night services, we are working on a on a platform to get that up, which probably be like a Zoom or a Ring Central, and and um, we'll have more information coming to you on that. But again, if you guys need anything, let us know. How can we serve you? How can we help you? Um, what, just kind of um, let us know. We want to keep in touch with you, and we're going to get through this time, and we're going to get through it. And we're and actually, I'm excited for the opportunities that God's opening up in these times because this is our time. This is a time that God created us for because the church is made to thrive in situations like this. So, so you don't just have to worry about, you know, just making it through or, or what's going to happen. You can, you can thrive in this situation. And so if you are struggling, if you're afraid, if you need prayer, let us know. We're here for you. We love you and God bless you.